Suspected of strangling Staff Sergeant Logan Melgar to death, according to a preliminary Army investigative report, the two Navy SEALs, 38-year-old Tony Dodolph and 31-year-old Adam Cranston Matthews, initially told investigators they were wrestling with Melgar at 4 in the morning, with Matthews ending up on top of Melgar. Once the SEALs got off the Green Beret, they realized he wasn't breathing. They attempted to perform CPR and cut an airway in his throat. They then raced him to a clinic where he was pronounced dead. At a party the previous night, the SEALs had made numerous comments on how to get back at Melgar, a witness told investigators, because they felt slighted by Melgar after he evaded them on the way to the party. Dodolph, who has fought in mixed martial arts matches, also told the witness that he choked Logan out, leading to temporary unconsciousness. The SEALs also used duct tape on Melgar, according to the witness, but intentionally didn't tell investigators. There is no rivalry. The only competition is between each other in order to make each other better. An explosive report from the Daily Beast claims that Melgar had discovered that the SEALs were pocketing from a slush fund used to pay locals and confronted the SEALs. A Pentagon official warned against drawing conclusions before the investigation is complete, and the Navy's criminal investigative services, as well as the SEALs, declined to comment. An official tells NBC News that the small counterterrorism mission, about a dozen special operators, does involve paying local sources for information. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.